Hi, and welcome to our lesson on using column vector notation to add and subtract with vectors. So we'll begin with this triangle ABC, where we've been told that vector A has a column vector 3, 2, vector B has a column vector 2, negative 1, and we've been asked to show that vector C has column vector 5, 1. Well, we can begin by setting up an equation. We can go from A, which is the green vector here, in this direction, indicated by the arrow. So A. And then from this point, we can go to B, again indicated by the arrow. So A plus B will equal the vector C. Now we know that A has a column vector 3, 2. So we can write this in place of A and b has a column vector 2, negative 1. So 2 and negative 1. And we've been asked to show that this is equal to the column vector 5, 1. Well, we know that vector a is 3 across in the positive right direction and then 2 vertically up. So from here to here, We've moved three units to the right, and then B from here to here is two units to the right. So you can see that the three add the two does make five. Similarly, if we were to consider a vertical change, so from here to here now, we've been told this is two, and then from the start of B to the end of B, we're going back down by 1. So then the 2 take away 1 will give us a, ver a positive vertical change of 1, which is this one here. So when we add and subtract with vectors, we can add the 3 and the 2 to make 5, and we can add the 2 and the negative 1 to make 1. Okay, so moving on to our next diagram. So now we've been given the vector notation in the form of i and j. So i means one direction, typically the horizontal direction, and j means the other direction, so typically the vertical direction. So we've been asked to work out the vector a to c, which is this vector here, going in this direction. Well, to go from a to c, we can go a, to B and then from B we can go from B to C again following the direction of the arrow so B to C and this will equal the vector A to C so now we can write these vectors in column vector notation so we have 5 to 4 so 5 would go on top and 4 would go below it and then from B to C, the negative 2 would go on top, and the negative 5 in the J direction would go below it. So now when we work out A to C, we can add the 5 and the negative 2 to give us 3, and the 4 add the negative 5 will give us negative 1. So a to c in column vector form is 3, negative 1. We can convert this back to ij form, where we have 3 in the i direction and negative 1 in the j direction. So this will be a to c. Okay, let's move on to another question. So moving on to this question now, we've been told that a is 2i plus 3j, b is i minus 2j, and c is minus 4i plus j. And we've been asked to work out a plus 2b minus c. So to begin with, I'm going to write each of these, a, b, and c, in column vector form. So a will be 2 and 3, both positive. b will be i, which is 1 in the i direction, and then j is minus 2, so 1 and minus 2, and c is minus 4 in the i direction, 
and one in the j direction. So now we can substitute these back into our expression. We have a for so two three plus two b, so two will go on the outside. B we have one and minus two minus the c, so minus negative four and one. So now we can tidy this up by expanding out this term here and we can make this into a negative by multiplying out the negatives. So we have 2, 3. So we have 2, 3, which is the A part. And then 2 lots of 1 will make 2. And then 2 lots of negative 2, which is negative 4. And then the opposite to the negative 4 would be positive 4. And the opposite to positive 1 would give us negative 1. So now all we need to do is add up the numbers on top in the i direction, which will be 8. And then the numbers in the j direction, which will be negative 2. So 8, negative 2 is our solution in column vector form. We could also have written 8i minus 2j. Okay, so finally, we've been given that 3a minus 2b equals c. If a is 2i plus pj and b equals qi minus 2j, we've been asked to show that c is equal to 19j. So again, I'm going to write a and b in column vector form. So we have three lots of a, and a is 2 in the i and p in the j direction, minus two lots of b, which is q in the i direction, and minus two in the j direction, and this is equal to c, which is none in the i direction, and 19 in the j direction. So now we can expand these out. Three lots of two will give us six, and then we'll have three p minus two lots of q and then two lots of negative two which is negative four is equal to zero and 19. So now we know that six minus the two q will equal zero. Six minus six will be zero so therefore q must be equal to 3. Similarly, 3p minus the negative 4 becomes 3p plus 4 to make 19. So 3p will equal 15. So therefore, p will equal 5. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.